Hi everybody, it's Miranda with Multiplicity Crafts, and today I'm taking part in a celebration hop for my friend, Katherine Kelly, who recently reached 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So I'll tell you more details in a moment, but I did want to congratulate her. And for this hop, we're going to be making case cards, C-A-S-E, which stands for copy and share everything, or copy and selectively edit. So Katherine's card that I decided to case is this simple and clean watercolor card. And so I noticed on Catherine's card that she used two different brushes, that one was more broad and one was more narrow. And so I'm going to be doing the same thing to get the different widths of brush strokes. And the watercolors that I'm using today are the Prima watercolors. And I just recently got these and I'm really, really enjoying them. They have nice pigmentation and are very pretty colors that are in this particular palette. So I'm going to be using my water spritzer and just add a little bit of water to the colors that I'm going to be using. And I have my card base here and I'm just going to tape that down to my work surface since I'm going to be using watercolors and that'll keep my paper from warping while I'm working on it and make everything just a little bit easier for me. And this is just the blue painter's tape that I'm using and this helps because it's not super tacky and it will peel up really easily and just helps hold everything in place. So you can see I'm beginning with this pretty blue shade. It's kind of, it's not quite an aqua blue, but it's not quite a sky blue either. It's just a really pretty in-between shade. And so I'm going to just lay my brush flat and pull that color over. Now this was kind of tricky to get my lines straight because I should have probably taped my card base down at an angle and so my hand was not really at the proper angle to make straight lines so you'll forgive me for that. In the end I think it turns out okay. But anyway you'll just see me going through this process of grappling with these lines trying to make them as straight as I can. Catherine made it look very, very easy, and I'm struggling a bit, and probably going over it way too many passes, but all in all, I think it turned out good in the end, so that's all that matters, right? So I'm going to continue this coloring, and as I'm doing so, I will tell you a little bit more about the hop that I'm taking part in. So Catherine Kelly is a very sweet friend, and as I said, she is just now reaching her 1,000 subscriber milestone, so that's a really big accomplishment. She was the founder of Team Tiny, which was a team of smaller craft YouTube channels, and she helped grow those channels with various hops and things that she uh, took part in and things that she designed for this group. So. This is a very well-deserved hop for her with a lot of giveaways for you to win. And at the end of this hop, I will have a graphic showing the different companies that are sponsoring this hop and where you could win a giveaway prize from. Some of the prizes may only be available to the U.S. and others may be international, so just be sure to let us know in your comment if you're U.S. or international. Also, you must be a subscriber to Katherine Kelly's channel to be eligible to win, so I'll have that link below. And all of the other details you'll need are below. And the winners will be contacted, and we can obtain your shipping address at that time if you're one of the winners. But we just need to know right now if you're U.S. or international. And also want to let you know this particular hop is hashtag driven. So the hashtag that appears on each video in the title it can be clicked to provide a complete list of all of the HOPS participants. So please take time to stop at each of the talented participants on the HOP and leave a comment at each stop and consider subscribing because the more channels you leave comments on, the more chances you have to win from the prizes that are available. So now that we got that out of the way, I will go back to the card. So you can see I've got all of my pretty watercolors on the card. And I'm going to use a little bit of acrylic paint. This is just white acrylic paint. And I'm going to water it down. And I'm just using the lid of my watercolor tin to put this on because it'll wipe away really easily. And so I'm just going to put just a dot of that white acrylic paint because I don't need very much. 
I'm going to use my water spritzer and add a little bit of water to that. And then I'm just going to stir that in, mix that up, and just make sure it's a little bit watery so that way it'll splatter a little bit easier. I noticed on Catherine's card that she did have some paint splatters. And so that's what I'm going to be adding on my card. Now I'm just going to add that to my brush and just tap my finger and make the little splatters. You can see white paint going everywhere, <laughs> but it's really not that bad because it's so watered down that even that paper that I had it on taped onto that white paper, it just like wiped right up from that because it was so watered down. You couldn't even tell. So I could save that piece of paper for more crafting. I'm going to be using the scrapbook.com stamp set and I'm going to be using the sentiment that says thanks. And I am using my We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press Stamp Positioner and stamping that down. I decided to add some Pretty Pink Posh sequins to my card because I just wanted to add a little extra bling. This wasn't really in Catherine's card, but I decided just to edit to add this to my card just to make it a little bit different, but yet similar to what she had created. So all in all, I was very pleased with how this card turned out, even though I think that Catherine's was a little bit better than mine. <laughs> but anyway, it stretched me outside my comfort zone, and I enjoyed making it. And here are the finished photos of the card. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, we just want to encourage you to stop at each of the participants' channels on the hop. And we want to give a big thank you to all of the wonderful sponsors to celebrate Catherine's milestone. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.